things are written that you may know that you have everlasting life. Not hope or think, but know that you have everlasting That's life. That's right. Amen. Amen. So if you want salvation, mm -hmm. it's a matter of recognizing what you already recognize. That's right. You I go am past a sinner. It. You go past it. I'm never going to be good enough to be acceptable to God. Mm -hmm. I need to repent of my sin. I need to be willing to do it his way rather than my own way. There you go. And then receive Jesus Christ Amen. as my Savior Amen. and Lord. No longer trust in what I can do, but trust in what he has done Amen. for me. The gospel's not do, D-O. It is done, D-O. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Regina, I hope you enjoyed church today. Did you learn anything? Wait a minute. Why are you doing your makeup? And why you got a dress on that look better than when you went to church? Where are you about to go? Oh, mm -hmm. me and the girls, we're going out to the club tonight. Mm -hmm. We about to turn up. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, soldiers. I'm Vaughn, and... Welcome to another episode of Soldiers Walking Along with God, where we teach you how to conquer life, faith, and fitness. So, you think you're a Christian, huh? Do you even know what it means to call yourself a Christian? You think that just because you watch the televangelist, listen to gospel music, or read the Bible occasionally, that makes you a Christian? You think just because you catch the Holy Ghost on Sundays that makes you a Christian? Are you someone who only picks and chooses what they want from the Bible, taking only what benefits you, not hearing the whole truth, only taking part of the message? Here's the truth. Not everyone who calls themselves Christian are really Christians because they cannot commit fully to the lifestyle of being a Christian. Many people make the mistake of thinking Christianity as a religion and not a lifestyle. Did you know that when you call yourself Christian, you're saying that you belong to Christ, meaning you are someone who completely adheres to his teachings making them the rule and conduct of your life. A Christian is a disciple of Christ, and discipleship requires a totally committed life. What you're saying when you call yourself Christian is not only that you have placed your faith in Christ and John 1.12, yet some people accepted him and put their faith in him, so he gave them the right to be children of God. But you have been born again by the power of the Holy Spirit now living within you. And John 3.3, 3, Jesus replied, I tell you for certain that you must be born from above before you can see God's kingdom. And saying you're a Christian isn't only a one-time thing. It's continually being transformed daily into the likeness of Christ. And yes, I said daily. That is something that we have to do every single day of our lives for the rest 
of our lives. It is a process. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Not only that, you are saying Christ is your number one priority. And you accept the call to sacrifice and follow wherever Christ leads you. Because we love him, we live in obedience to his will and his purpose. And John 14, 15, Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will do as I command. And finally, I want to leave you with this. The reality of being a Christian. This final verse before we close. Galatians 2, 20. I have died, but Christ lives in me. And now I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave his life for me. And guys, that brings us to a close of today's video, The Christian Life. And if you found this video to be helpful, if you learned something, if you got something out of it, if it spoke to you, please feel free to leave any kind of questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment section below. And I promise you, I'll do my best to get back to each and every one of you. Okay? And guys, if you're new to this channel, I want you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. But don't stop there. There's also a, another button that you have to press, and it's called the notification bell. Now, if that bell doesn't look like it's ringing or vibrating, that means you have yet to click on it. And once you click on it, you'll get notifications sent to you anytime I upload a video so you don't have to miss a single one. And guys, really quick, you're not done. There's also another button that you have to press. And it looks like this. Give us a thumbs up, like this video, and share this content with anyone and everyone you know. We want to do our best to get our message out there to anyone who is willing to listen. Always remember, we are blessed to go out to be blessings to other people. So, what that means is, it does you no good to hold this information in to yourself. God wants everyone to be saved. So, we are to go forth and spread His message by being a blessing to others. Alright? And I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you for making it to the very end of this video. Um, I tried to keep it as short as possible today. Um, but thank you for all who continue to show their love, support, and encouragement. And know that I love each and every one of you. Let's continue to grow here at Soldiers Walking Along With God. Okay? And please feel free to check out my other channel links. Um, not channel links. Check out my other pages on... Uh, my social media outlets. Uh, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook, Google Plus, LinkedIn. Uh, and if you have any of those platforms, again, please share this content with anyone and everyone you know. It would help us here at Soldiers Walking Along with God continue to grow. Um, please, let's strengthen our community. Let's get stronger. But, guys, that brings us to a close of today's video so until next time I want you guys to continue to be blessed continue to be a soldier be a soldier that walks along with God thank you all God bless and I want you to have a good rest of your evening alright I'll see you guys next time can you endure